so glad you're here. If you and I have not met, my name is Emma Lou with Heartfelt Creations. I just wanted to pop in real quick and bring you a creative idea that might get you jump started on your um, creative endeavors for 2023. Now, I know so many of us go into the new year thinking, okay, this year I'm gonna do a lot of creating and a lot of crafting. So I'm here to help you get started and maybe inspire you for your next project. project. So let's take a look at what we're going to be creating together today. Um, this is a beautiful shape card. I think it just, um, speaks of all things florally and glittery and spring, which is something we kind of need by this time of the year, right? We're just through the holiday season, kind of, uh, I don't know where you're from, but where we're from, it kind of means we're hunkering in for some cold weather, typically lots of snow and all that good stuff. So it's a great time to just bring some springtime into your craft room and get started creating something beautiful. So this background die is an all-time favorite. Like it is a hero in so many different ways on your cards, whether you're turning it into a shape card or you wanna add it as an accent on um, just a card base. Like look at how beautiful yet simple that die is in the background. And then we're pairing it with some of our all-time favorite beauties, the dra Decorative Dragonfly Collection. Tell me, I want to know, do you have the Decorative Dragonfly Collection? And if yes, have you created with it? It is like so magical and beautiful and I can't wait to share how to create this. Now, if you're just joining me, let me know where you're watching from. Let's have some fun together um, and blow up the comments. Let me know when you see something you love and what you love about it. So we'll get started by coloring the elements that we're using today and then we're going to layer them on this beautiful glittery card base that is just stacked. It has lots of dimension. Now, you get to choose how much dimension you want to um, use on this, which is great because these, um, embellishments within the decorative dragonfly collection can be used like super flat or you can really 3d them um, and do lots of amazing things I just want to point this out too. like the background florals here are just stunning when paired with the papers like this is just a dragonfly within the uh, paper collection that was just glittered up but it looks like it was stamped and colored it's absolutely stunning so today we are going to use kind of a two-fold um, technique with our dragonfly. So this one was stamped on our beautiful, amazing vellum with white ink and white embossing powder. If you have issues with your uh, white ink and white embossing powder sticking, let us know in the comments so that we can um, give you some links to products we love to use that work incredibly well. Um, the background was stamped on white cardstock, and this is a little bit difficult to see right now, but it was stamped on white cardstock and bossed with white. Um, so when we color this, it's going to kind of do what I call a resist coloring technique. So are you ready to see that? I always feel like no matter how much you've done this, it has a beautiful wow factor. It's just like, oh, look at that. Um, so you can see a little bit, like I started to put some uh, deep purple on there. Um, so you'll start to see the design pop just a little bit. Let me grab my correct dauber and we're good to go. So this is really like a sim simple way to create like beautiful um, embellishments for cards that are easy to add. So when you're creating those beautiful florals and you just want a quick accent with a dragonfly that's just kind of magically fluttering in to say hello. It is just such a beautiful way um, to get some glitter, some vellum, and just some um, delicacy with your uh, dragonflies. Now, if you haven't used the decorative dragonfly collection, maybe it's sitting in your craft room and you just need some inspiration to get it pulled out and used, um, there are many different sizes. This one's a little bit larger, but like there are all kinds of sizes from large to teeny tiny, like this little guy is super sweet. Like it reminds me actually kind of of the fireflies we used to catch when I was a kid. Um, so that is in the background here. This is just a beautiful way to really utilize those florals and dragonflies and just have a stunning, stunning card. Absolutely fun to do. So I just added touches of the deep purple in the center and then I'm gonna go back with the cactus flower and we're just going to add some beautiful color along the outlines. And this is going to be behind our vellum butterfly. So it's like the color is on the second layer. It's not gonna be on the vellum this time. However, you could put it on the vellum if you wanted to. 
Um, so that is completely up to you on how you do this. But I just think this is a really fun and beautiful way to kind of get a, a nice ombre uh, effect, blending multiple colors together um, on this stamped butterfly. And then I know it's a little bit difficult to see this technique on camera, so that's actually sometimes why I hesitate a little bit to um, share it on camera, but it is so, so stunning. I just highly recommend that you try it at home and just watch the stamped image just pop from the background and it just creates this elegant beauty um, in the background. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of shape, you can just kind of take the um, end of a pencil or your shaping tools and just bring those um, dragonfly wings up and just give a little bit of curl and bend to them um, and do that on the vellum side as well. So you do not have to uh, do anything to the vellum at this point. You can just go ahead and curl those petals, grab your dry clear glue, and you're going to be um, attaching this beautiful dragonfly to the top. So it's just glued in the middle, and that makes that these wings can separate from each other. And we'll uh, focus on that a little bit more once we're actually adding that to the card, so we'll give that um, some time to dry in the center. So you see how that color comes through, you see the beautiful stamped image, you can add glitter as much or as little as you like. Then we're going to graduate to these beauties. These are some amazing accent flowers. Now, I don't know about you, but I tend to get so excited about like your focal flowers that I call like the heroes of uh, the card, right? And oftentimes forget how important and vital it is to have beautiful accent flowers that really make it all come together. And that's what these images do. So this one, it comes from the Daydream Floral set. And within the Decorative Dragonfly collection, we launch multiple florals that you can stamp and you can uh, color in different ways. This one was stamped in a two-tone color with the green in the bottom, which was the leaf green. And then we did cactus flower on this one and deep purple on this one. This one I, is a different design that comes from the, uh, this one's called Dragonfly Florals. This has another dragonfly in it and then some like more like really narrow florals. And then I love this one. This one is just so pretty. Um, and then you have these narrow ones, which really makes it, you can create beautiful like a bouquet and combination. So this one was stamped with a leaf green and then the forget me not on the top. So we're just going to go ahead and add some coloring. You can color this however you like. I am going to add some cactus flower in the center of the blue ones. Um, I had pre-colored all the leaves with leaf green. I'm going to go ahead and add cactus flower to this purple one. Um, so you'll see that this one is going to look different than the, so this was stamped with deep purple and then just some accents of the cactus flower. And then this one was stamped in cactus flower and colored with cactus flower. So these were all colored with cactus flower, but they look different because of how we stamped the background. So you can have some fun and get so many beautiful looks with this. And so these are the only accents we need outside of a sentiment for this card. So um, that's just easy peasy. So I highly recommend just sitting down, stamping a lot of dragonflies, cutting out a bunch of these background florals so that you can easily pop it onto a card base. You can do like simple note cards too, like this one just using a beautiful um, accent paper, adding one of those florals, adding a dragonfly, and you're done. So whether you wanna do something that's simple or elaborate, you really can go both ways and get beautiful results every single time. And it's so, so fun to create with. So the next step with this, when you're switching to using this beautiful Lattice Flourish Gateway Die, what you'll do is you'll create your card base and what I did is I just folded a uh, piece of cardstock, made sure that this piece is extended over the fold line so it does not cut that off. Then all you need to do is just pull this off and you have your decorative card base. Your next step is going to be um, cutting out a piece from the decorative dragonfly paper collection. That paper is absolutely stunning. If you don't have it yet, like, I feel sorry for you. It is so, so pretty. Like it is so gorgeous. And if you um, wanna see all the individual paper sheets of that, what you can do is just type decorative uh, dragonfly into our search box and it will bring up, I am 3Ding this um, on here, side bunny trail there, there we go. Uh, but you can type decorative dragonfly into our search box, it'll bring up the paper and you'll see the individual sheets in there but the color is just 
the color of the design is just magical. It is so, so pretty. This next part, you get to choose how you want to, uh, how many layers you want to do, but here we did a white and a gold offset. And then we took this piece and did a white background, a gold background, and then I did a decorative dragonfly paper that was more neutral on top, sponged around the edges, and that's going to be in the middle. And we did, um, so this can come separate. It's kind of stuck together because I have a whole lot of uh, my uh, foam tape here in the background that's just ready to be added to the top of this. So um, you can do lots of uh, dimension with this, especially if you're hand giving this card, or you can just keep it flat for mailing. So you get to choose how uh, much layering and dimension you want to add to this one. So tell me what you're loving. Um, let me know if you have created with this decorative die or the um, decorative dragonfly collection. Now, this die, one thing I love about it too is you can just, um, you know, cut off that background. So there's many different ways um, that you can utilize these. So whether you're doing a shape card or you're doing something similar to this, um, these are two different dies, but you can kind of see that you could do a similar design with that. So hopefully that just inspires you. So at this point, all you need to do is just add your embellishments, add your glitter, add your sentiment, and you're all done. So. I'm gonna go ahead and add my decorative dragonfly first, and we're gonna have this little guy just kind of flying off the side up here. You can choose what size you wanna use. Um, I did a, a different one on the original card, so I just wanted to kind of have you see how it looks, just depending on what size you choose. And then you can go back and you can start layering your flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead um, and put this one on. I'm not gonna do any trimming on this one at all. So we're just gonna put this one on the side. So this one is going to be the largest. And then I'm gonna take this one and we are going to trim this down a little bit. If I can find my scissors, here we go. Um, so I'll just trim this off and just add a little. So you can also kind of alter the height of some of these flowers just by where you trim them um, so that you can also use the same flower um, so that you have different height and sizes in there. Then this one, I am no, <laughs> everybody knows, maybe not everybody, but it feels like it because I do this so much. I cut these apart um, to really like separate them and just kind of fill it in where I want it to look a little bit more fuller and have a little bit different petals and accents in it. So just bring this in um, to the side. And we'll also kind of have that more as a background flower. So it's just kind of a filler that's hanging out in the back with a little bit of extra color. I am going to kind of pull that bottom off and we're gonna tuck that behind the leaves of this second flower that we had glued down and that one's gonna go right in here. Um, so as you can see, it's a pretty simple way um, to very quickly and easily add your um, accent pieces, but it's still super beautiful. Now on this card, you could stamp your sentiment in here or you could add it down here depending on how you're layering it together. And then our next step is going to be adding our glitter. So what I want you to do is once you're finished, you can just jazz this up with a bunch of glitter using the Crystal Clear. This is a beautiful chunky glitter. If you have used it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It takes a card to extreme elegance. So what you can do is just grab a, um, just a cheap sponge and just put a good chunk of glue on the top. And then you can add those accents of glitter wherever you want. So I'm gonna make sure these little posts in the background are really beautifully um, glittered. And we're gonna go ahead and just put some on the flowers. If you, if you wanna go back and do more, you can always go back, reapply the glue and add more glitter. So you get to choose how much glitter you have on there. Um, so don't be scared to, you know, just start adding it. And then, who? I had a little leak on my table. It's coming out behind the fence there. Okay, so I don't know if you can start seeing, yes, you can. Isn't that just stunning how that just um, adds the glitter? Now, I would also do glitter up in here. So what you can do is just go back and just add that glue and just sponge over the top of this decorative piece. Add that glitter and you're done. So it's as easy as that. I love bringing you um, creative ideas 
that look like they're complex, but when you break it down, it's like, okay, I can do this. Um, so just breaking things down in doable steps is what it's all about when you are creating um, and also remembering to just have a lot of fun because that's what crafting is all about. Um, so hopefully this inspires you to get started on your very first project. And hey, I would love, 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 love if you would share um, right here on social media what your first card is going to be or what you're creating as the first project of 2023 so we can celebrate what you've made with you. Um, and if you've been kind of stuck in a rut and you've been needing to um, have some ideas on what you uh, want to get jump started with for um, your creative projects in 2023, this is one you really can't go wrong with. You can just sit there and make lots of beautiful dragonflies um, that you can use on accents. So this collection was really designed for it to be accents that you can pair with your um, other flowers. So on this one, you can use your decorative die. So it's a very different looks just based on the color combinations you use, the glitters you use, the decorative background dies you use. Here are two shaped cards, very different looks just based on how you um, put those together. And then you can also really utilize those background papers um, and just add some dimension to the top and have some fun with it. Also love this decorative die in the background um, with that beautiful kind of uh, gateway look um, with that dragonfly on there as well. So, oh, I don't know. It's just so inspiring when you say different ways that you can use these. Here is a vellum dragonfly, two layers of vellum instead of cardstock. The top one is colored a little bit brighter and then paired with some beautiful florals. So. Again, this is the background die that I used today and along with the decorative dragonfly stamps and dies, along with the daydream florals. We'll add the links below for quick and easy ordering. Um, if you don't have it yet, you can um, just click those links and you'll have a great shopping experience. And just remember when you get these, if you're ever at a spot where you're like, wait a minute, what, what do I do with this? You can just type the item name or number of what you have Type that in our search box at heartfeltcreations.us. That's going to bring up the image of the item you purchased. And then there's gonna be links of videos that we did with it and inspiration from design team members from all around the globe. So that is a very helpful tip uh, to help you get started when you are creating and you're kind of stuck, right? Or you just need something to get your uh, creative mojo going. So. Have fun uh, creating with the decorative dragonfly collection and using those tips and techniques. Let me know below how this inspired you. And if you're an insider member, you don't have these items yet, um, you do uh, receive your 20% discount on these items um, and you get free shipping if you're in the US on any order size. So uh, get what you need um, to get yourself jump started. And you know, one thing I got forgot to say is the glitter. Um, the Crystal Clear, we do have some of our favorite top selling glitter colors in bulk. They're just in bulk uh, while supplies last. So if you didn't know about that, you might wanna go um, and check that out as well. So with that, Happy New Year. We're so glad you were here today. We'll see you next time, bye.